George Washington was born on February 22, 1732. At the time, America was comprised of 13 British colonies clustered along the Atlantic Ocean. The land was rich with opportunity for the immigrants who found their way there and were willing to work the land. America was divided into social classes, the wealthy, the poor, a small middle class, and the slaves. George was not born a rich aristocrat. His great-grandfather was a poor English adventurer who had immigrated to Virginia in 1657. He was an unsavory character, but as Virginia prospered, so did the Washington family. George's father, Augustine Washington, had four children by his first wife and six by his second wife, Mary, George's mother. So little is known about George's early years that his first biographer fashioned a story about young George, a hatchet, and his admission to his father that he chopped down a cherry tree. I can't tell a lie, Pa. You know I can't tell a lie. I did cut it with my hatchet. His formal education was minimal but practical arithmetic for keeping accounts, and geometry for surveying. He preferred to read books that taught him something useful. In 1743, George's father died. He left a sizable estate of 10,000 acres of land and 49 slaves, all of which was split several ways. George was only 11, but he knew that he didn't want to live under his overbearing mother's vigilance. His oldest brother, Lawrence, who was 14 years older, became George's surrogate father. Lawrence was a man of fine character who gave him affectionate and measured attention. By the age of 16, George was eagerly pursuing his first profession as a surveyor. His brother Lawrence's marriage into the powerful Fairfax family